Who Lives Who Dice is an improvised D&D show that may contain violence and adult themes. Content warnings can be found in the description. Uh-oh. Hello and welcome to Who Lives Who Dice, uh, a D&D show where Reese breaks our guest characters both physically and emotionally, <laughs> even when they come in as the villains. My name is Matt Bayman, I'm your Game Master, Dungeon Master, Storyteller. Fable Fenangler. Oh, oh. the alliteration <laughs> is something else. Uh, and, you know, we had to say goodbye to Jenny uh, no. as a whole episode. Oh. That's right. These wonderful people are still here. Please introduce yourselselves, starting with Mr. Green Drink himself. Hello. <laughs> My name's Reese Lawton, and I'm playing Tutorial, or Toot, who's a little wooden boy who's just wholesome. I'm Naomi Clark, and I'm playing the superior number four, and I should be rolling lots of fours, or less. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I am David No Middle Names Cox. <laughs> Playing Alexi Karstav, who shall be enjoying something of an existential crisis and or mental breakdown. Just for a change. I'm Sasha Bergwin and I play Milo. Milo's fine. <laughs> <laughs> fine. As always, we need that on a t-shirt. Yeah. We do. Milo's, Milo's fine. fine. Milo's fine. Milo's fine. Milo's fine. Milo's fine. As always, Milo is fine. Uh, one quick question though for the lovely Reese Lawton. Oh, hello. What's, what's going through Toot's head right now? <laughs> well, nothing. <laughs> Why on earth would there be anything wrong? All of this is fine. Oh, we know what the episode. Fine or? Oh, oh no, no, fine, but you know, with the lying, underlying current of fear, dread, Sorry, and existential it's, crisis. It's the mean. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is fine. We did that actually. There's a thumbnail. It was a nice mm. shot of Saskia, and like we yeah. re remade it. And anyway, uh, Loki fellas are very talented. Uh, anyway, that basically we're just going to jump straight in because there's a lot going on. There's a lot about to happen. We're only halfway through a big cycle. Some very big character moments happened, and I'm keen to just get stuck in. So, pick up your hammers. Uh, close the portholes and <laughs> throw your sister overboard and let's get on with episode 15 <laughs> of Who Lives, Who Dies. Oh, we're in the big one now, team. Dust and snow surround the party. A crestfallen Alexi watches helplessly as Tutorial throws the broken body of a sister from the skyship into the hurricane currently surrounding them. Having turned against them one time too many, Tutorial's righteous fury shone through as he dispatched the malevolent Leandra Karstav to the winds. Alexi, now in shock that he won't get the answer about his family he desperately wants, looks on into the storm that still rackets the ship. And as we head into hour nine of this journey, you are all acutely aware you've removed the main patron of this ship and potentially all who remain outside of Leandra may quickly become hostile. So, what happens next? Toot dusts himself off as much as possible, closes the porthole window turns I suggest we go back to the deck and if possible we make no mention of this until later but I mean we need to get through this storm exactly how are we going to do that with no Leandra we'll produce the ring this is a replica I believe of the one that Captain Moss has are they going to have questions about where she is? She is in her room. There was an explosion. She is taken to bed. Guess we better hope they don't check on her. It is a crazy time. That it is. Meanwhile three is currently walking with you as you've wandered away from whatever just transpired. Yeah. Four. Four. Slow down. It's a lot, but it's for the best. Is it? No, no, no. She's taking us to her deaths. 
What, and, what would you and, have done? And now, and now, where are we going? Wherever we need to, right? Like, one of us, we could take, we could take that space. We could, we could fix this right now. To Coldhaven, to wherever we need to go, to just. Yeah. I listen. I don't. I don't know where we're going anymore. Where do you want to go? Where? I, I want to go home. Okay. I'm, what What are we doing out here? I mean, it's uh, every time I get up from sleeping, whatever that is. No, that's, um, that's what, what is it? Like you're not really dead. You're not really alive. It's it's a. Uh, it's, it's not really an accent. It's not really a place. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I slipped out. Couldn't help myself. Um, uh, Four guards now. I'm joking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, if just uh, there's uh, someone doesn't die. Uh, there's screaming and pain and a terrible time. And I think I don't know if we're cut out for this. Probably not. As far as I can tell, there are a lot of options coming in. We need to choose one. I just don't like the way this one's looking for the few people that don't completely suck. The non-fives of the world. Yeah. I I, I don't even think five really deserves whatever the fuck is happening here. Um... Uh, would you, would you mind doing the, for a bit? I'm not. The? Yeah, I think I need to. Of course. And I head towards the bunks, essentially, Mm -hmm. to just like, um, for like a hot minute. For a hot minute? All right. You turn, and as you watch three, concentrates and turns into the end of the Meanwhile, we should go to the deck. Okay, um, you go do that. I'll stay down here for a bit. Understood. Make sure we don't crash into anything or get attacked by anything or yell if you need us. I will endeavour to try. Okay. Thank you. That's all right. Um, Myla will stay, yeah. He is just (laughs) staring at a blank spot and... For quite a uh, pasty person as it is, who doesn't look like he gets a lot of vitamin D, more pale than before. It just, like, almost physically unwell levels Mm. of pale. Mm. Just staring. There has been no acknowledgement of people leaving a room. Okay. You, You come out to see Leandra standing. Oh, okay. Guess that's <laughs> it's me. I, I, I got that. I'm just checking. It's very convincing. Right. Given I know what happened to her, I'd be shocked if she was back. Yeah, stranger things have happened. That right? is true. Okay. What's the plan? Is there uh, a plan? I think the plan is, um, if you want to, if you think you can convince people it's her, go ahead. Do what you think she'd do, and try and keep us alive. If you think you'd rather just pretend to be her and stay in her room, that's also grand. Fair enough. All right. Go chat to Toot. Make sure he knows what's going on. Good. Um, she, cool. He walks away, flipping you off. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> um, sticks. Three sticks his head in. As Leandra. Uh, I'm already walking. Yeah, Toot was already back there. out. So, like, so oh, right, right. Sorry. Sorry. Myla's the in deck. there with Alexi still. And two has left. Understood. So, Sorry, yeah. I must have thrown the whole one. Cool. No. Is there any reaction? I don't even think he's. Uh, he's Leandra's voice, I presume. The, his eyes would have just flicked up, but then away. Um, Still, just. It's not really a voice. Not really a place. Not really an accent. <laughs> uh, the only thing is, uh, there would be a clang as his rapier drops and the radiant fire just snuffs out as it hits the floor. Cool. Myla's just gonna. Um, once like uh, three's gone, she's just gonna say to Alexi like, "I'll just be here as long as you need. Take your time." All right. I know it's tough. If we're going to Cold Haven, if we need to decide soon, because there's something waiting for us there. 
have a thing. And three goes. Cool. Uh, Tutorial, you emerge back up on top of the deck. Smoke stops. There's a couple of gauntlet guards hanging around now as well. Just sort of looking around, inspecting damage a little bit. Uh, Moss looks a little bit worried. Um, but you come up, your face is still burned black. Um, there's still like charred bits on, on, on your body. Um, before we get into the next hour, a couple of hours, I'm just going to speed things up a little bit. What would you like to do? Go to Captain Moss and say, There was a fire down below. We have taken care of it. Just like that? As much as possible, yes. Okay. Good. Do we need to send anyone down to check? I feel later on may be an idea, but currently, the situation is in hand. You look a bit worse for yourself. The situation is in hand. Okay. Make a persuasion check for me, please. That charismatic boy toot. Well, uh, oh my. Ooh. I am a totally trustworthy wooden boy. Totally, <laughs> you hadn't pissed off the charisma check of the party. <laughs> yeah. So that's a persuasion, is it? Yeah. yeah, cool, 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 cool. So the situation is in hand. Most definitely in hand. There is nothing to investigate currently. That was a six. Okay. <laughs> Moss, I mean, it looks up waves and the two sanguine gauntlets walk past you and start in that direction as the image of Leandra Karstav comes up. Out the steps. What are you doing? Sorry. We are currently investigating. Oh, this is, this is oh. to the guards. So okay. you're, you're up here now. Yeah. The guards both sort of stop. And she calls out to yourself. Stand yourself there. Stay up here. Protect me. Tutorial? Hmm? We're good. Clean your face up. You look a mess. And there's a slow wink to <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Captain Moss, can you please identify the person on the ship? Lady Leandra. Understood. Understood. <laughs> Understood. Come with me. Retiring, and she goes, and the two go on the guards. Walk off. Two Wink. Walks. Right. Is there anything else anyone would like to do before we go into the next leg of the journey? Four? Are you, when you say a hot minute, how long do you want to sit out for? Um, I think that having split from three, I think I'm going back to Leandra's study and I'm just ransacking the motherfucking... She's not here. Like, whatever's in there, like, okay. we've got plenty of time. Cool. That's I'm might as right. well. Well, let's, let's, let's jump to the I next iteration. So, yeah. And we'll start with you. Can you roll a d20 for me, please? I can. With an 18. Oh, oh boy. We're going to get creature. Oh, no. I'm Isn't real, more fun? real sick. <laughs> okay. There's a calm. As the ship begins to enter a pocket. <laughs> Apart from a couple of times. Like. <laughs> for a moment, there seems to be a bit of respite for the ship. And See, you can all manage to take a breather on. and get any repairs that you need to. So, there is no immediate threat. Mm-hmm. We'll start with you. Yeah. Into the study you go. Right. You look through. What would you like? Are you, are you trashing the place? Are you investigating thoroughly? You're I'm at investigating least at this point. thoroughly. I want to get into that shrine. I want to, like fucking like pull that shit apart cool. well without issue you you get into the shrine without without any problem whatsoever um i will need you to make an investigation check to see if you can find everything that's cool just the room that myla and alexia are we're in. in right we're still in that room. shit yes yeah, we're still in are. there as well okay I, I wasn't apologies. there was I, no there was no identifiers on the map so i didn't know no, no, what no, it was. That's, that's also my that's bad. all good um in which case uh if you're in the study i'll go to her fucking Quarters. Okay. Um, and fucking investigate there. Great. As you arrive at the quarters, uh, three is also there with two sanguine gauntlet guards as well at the time. Uh, yeah, I just say, Lady Leandra, I must speak to you about a delicate matter. Yes. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Without your dogs. <laughs> Away with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're like, close the door. 
and uh, I was like, right, fucking ransack this <laughs> shit. Cool. Uh, investigation advantage, and we'll both roll on that. Yeah, that's. Ooh. Ooh 21. Okay. You don't find any other shrines, but after ransacking through, uh, you do manage to find another pouch with about 450 platinum okay. sort of Oof. sitting in spare. Uh, you find a plus one oh, see, from that dagger. It's, it's, it's from the tooth fairy. It was under the <laughs> <way>. <laughs> cool. Um, but amongst amongst her her, her bits and pieces, her, her drawer, uh, you find three things. Mm-hmm. Uh, you find a fine quill made from a raven feather, which is very cold to the touch. Uh, you find by her bedside table a mirror with a black and silver frame. Uh, but when you look at it, you see your own face staring back at you, but sunken and uh, as if your body has been rotting for yep. years and years. Fun. It's me, but my, I'm with, deader. And with the 21, you also find a, an, a small locked compartment just beneath her bed. A small hourglass with fine black sand inside the inside of it it is it is in the case it is it, it can be taken out but it is clearly being placed in a very precise way not to be bumped about or accidentally okay. moved and so it's, it's uh, very it's very delicate is what i'm trying to say um is it in a position where the time is running no it is laid flat on its back okay yeah. yep. great in an inactive state i would like to flip it to an active state and see what happens okay you flip it where the sand is on top. Nothing happens. Flip it where the sand is on bottom. You immediately start walking backwards and start tracking backwards all the way through, back through the hallways. And oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> cool. You flip it back, but the sand doesn't return. It stays. It stays there. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Got a uh, I need you to roll a d20 for me, please. Natural 20. God damn it. Holy Moses. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> cool. You Entered used, the game. Used a lot of it. <laughs> Why is it when I <laughs> roll high, I always get punished? <laughs> Matt. This Don't is the Matt second, me. This is the second time that's happened yeah, to me. right? Uh, Are there any gods you've pissed off at all? <laughs> Possibly sort of all you of know, them. Dice-shaped ones. Mm. <laughs> it's, it's a very fine sand, but yeah, you noticed that. Probably about a quarter of it. Doesn't seem that, that it, the effect lasts for very, very long. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And you, you, would, you would ascertain. Uh, you've got four... Let's say you've got four minutes remaining okay. on that. With, that. with that net 20, you're able to ascertain that precise amount of four minutes. It's all... You've already fucked it for me. Don't try and be like, because <laughs> you've got a natural 20, you can tell how much you're fucked by. <laughs> Cool, but ransacking, that's all you're able to really yep, discover. Cool. You imagine anything else of value was probably on Leandra's person when she was thrown overboard. That's all good. Um, I was just looking for lore, so we're good. There we go. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, in the study, what's going on? Myla's literally just said she's going to stay there and she'll just, she's not like, she's letting him. Alexis, process. one movement has been to Drop lean me. on a wall. Okay. And then to slink down so he's sitting on his ass. Great. Uh, roll a d4. Oh no! Three. Pittons! <laughs> Three. Yeah, you, you sit down, but you do feel there's a hollow thud behind you as you sit on the back. Secret door! Uh, he kind of just shakes his head. And, and it, it's uh, very much like, imagine autopilot. Mm -hmm. Or if anyone's ever seen anyone sleepwalking, that's what he looks like. Uh, and they just reaches behind and searches whatever you cool. can, yeah you you feel a groove you feel like a slot where the wall would drop away cool i want to check that out cool uh it doesn't take you too long you manage to feel around a little bit and Myla, you can, you can Myla's sort of like looking what's, what's and it's on. like do you want a hand please cool. okay you, you're you're sort of able to trace the mechanism to the desk and after the fight and the ransacking you're able to sort of find a, a switch with a small golden button on it nothing happens Go back to the groove. Yep. You can, if you want to try and pull it, pull yeah. it off. Yeah, go for it. Make a strength check for me, please. Guidance. D4. Yeah. I know. 
Oh, sorry, you're giving me like a what the hell look. Yeah, you said you can try and pull it off, and I was just like, Meh. 17. Okay. With guidance? Yep. Okay. With the 17, you managed to get, and you know, a bit of the fire's burnt it away a little bit, and you managed to break the planks off. And it takes it takes a little bit of work, um, but you do discover a sulfurous smell and a shrine of Ooh. a raven being gripped by a hand. Well, this gets better. That sure looks like, I guess, what we suspected. Worse than what we expected. Then I have no idea what we're to do now. If we go, it. I. Can I figure out where the ship was when she was thrown? Uh, intelligence check, please. Uh, 16. Northern side of the Bay of Iron. So it's more likely than not she would have hit the water um, quite hard. Reduced to a state of ash, hit the water. That would account for some dispersion. She wasn't, she wasn't ash. I thought no, she was. No. Oh, sorry. Was... Sorry, was that north of the Bay of Irons? Uh, the north side of the Bay of Irons. North yes. side. The body would have sunk. That means she would repair, drown, a few moments. The body would still sink. Depending on how deep, I don't know how long we have. I don't know if she has any capability of sending anything that we could that that would. I don't. I don't know what to do. I think we've got a couple of options. I think we could continue on to Cold Haven, try and investigate what's going on there. I think we can take this ship and run. Not with any any deviation from the plan will alert the others. Yeah, but I wanted to give you the option. And We'd I, back you if you wanted it. I I I don't know if Leandra's presence w w would have meant that I was safe at least long enough, or if showing up now. Um, I don't think there's a choice. There's enough taking us in that direction. Uh, I, I, I can't, I can't think about her being gone now. Uh, uh, we, we need to, we, we need to work. Yeah. Oh, you're thinking about that. Yep. Yeah. Uh, three. And I uh, discuss how we're going to do this. I become Leandra. Uh, three becomes the deckhand, and is now my backup in case anything gets fucked up. Okay. Um, so I, uh, you're, you're understudy. Yeah, pretty much. Oh. Just, just to you know, be like Miss Leandra. Thank you so much for that d d d direct <clears throat> and miss, mean Miss, miss Leandra, command. Thank you for demeaning me. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> command command me. Yeah, who's got the ring at this time? I uh, believe Tutorial has held on to Great. it. He's not given it to anyone else, yes. Right. Meanwhile, Toot, what are you up to, buddy? On the deck, keeping an eye on things. Right. Will cast uh, <laughs> uh, Cure Wounds on himself. Cause, sure. You know, Cure Wounds. And How are you doing? Oh, not good. Push the wrong button, but I'll take it. Uh, sure. uh, yeah, 24. Yeah, this time is also short resting time. <laughs> Cool. We we have a two hour pocket, so if anyone wants to take a short rest safely, they can. Hundred percent. Cool. Done. Right. Um, Leandra returns to the deck. So is it three or is it four? It's four. Cool. Go for it. What are you all doing, just standing about? We've wasted enough time. Cold Haven's not getting any closer. Come on. Yes. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes. I'm. A, a robot man, wooden man. Yes, uh, would you see to the sails, please, and ensure we are fixed up. Very well. Good, good. Um, you. My ring, please. Understood. Great. I put the ring on, and 
basically, I, s I get the, um, thumb people. <laughs> Great. Uh, I get the thumb people and I get the deck, uh, three is the deck hand to go and kick into whatever three did to the engine. I want to, I want it fucked up. I want it fast. I want it happening. I'm not messing about. Okay. Let, let's fucking go. Okay. Um, I tell Moss that I'm tired of him. Uh, sorry, tired of them. Uh, not doing enough. Kind of just maintaining pace. Um, Ma'am, this is the safest way to travel through through the sky. Did I ask for safe, or did I ask you to do as you're goddamn told? Yes, ma'am. Carry on. <laughs> Get moving. And trying to maintain some semblance of authority. You, you, you heard the lady. Go, 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 go. If I ch catch anyone being idle, I'll throw you off the side myself. Move. Um, if you're going for a short rest. Yeah, he's down there for at least an hour in a despondent state. All right, Myla will be like, check that he's okay to be left. And she'll go up and help. Cool. Uh, help to, um, but yeah. Yeah, Alexi will be coming up after the hours. Yeah, past. she'll basically mm. just be like, get him comfy. Yeah. You know, like, be like, you're okay. Everything's terrible. Here's a bit of a blanket. Here's like, a, yeah, like she'll give him her little like the Aww. shiny Aww. shock thing. blanket that they give to people. Mm. Like, <laughs> 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 That's yeah, but she'll she'll give him a little like shawl thing. A little cut of like hot blood cocoa or something. Yeah, keep, yeah. she's doing her best. Um, Doubtless, there's an owl that's giving you the. I'm here with him. It's yeah, okay. yeah. She, she'll like leave Cyril with you. She's just like just just all the things that I can possibly think of that Support might be comforting. <laughs> Which isn't very many things, <laughs> uh, and then she'll she'll head on up to the, the deck um, and okay. go. You you C2. watch to see Leandra barking orders. Tutorial, are you staying or are you going? No, to I'll go. I'll, no, I'll go to fix the sails. Okay, great. Yeah, it's cool. um, in that case, Myla will go. Yeah, Myla will come join too and be like, uh, "What are we doing? We are fixing the sails." Okay, you got about you got half an hour left, so we'll we'll, we'll run that. Uh, Leandra, what are you up to? Um. I am. Please go on. And Dickhand is helping here as well. Yeah. Uh, I'm doing my level best to make sure that everybody's moving as quickly as fucking possible. Great. Um, okay. Um, I'm just checking what my abilities are at this time. Um. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I think we are agreed that we're going to go to Coldhaven still. Okay. Um, that is a conversation the party wants to have, or we can just crack on and do it. It's up to you. I've made that decision. No, no, cool. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I think four is like, I've I've like I've done what everybody's asked me to do. I've helped people with the thing, and I've been repaid with fuck all. Like I'm done. This is business only now. Let's get to the goal line, and then I'm fucking out. Like, this is it. I'm done. Okay. Um, I think as soon as Toot has finished uh, doing the sales and things, yeah. uh, I strongly suggest that they go back to their quarters. Um, and then the same with Myla. Okay. So I'm, I'm effectively encouraging them to stay the fuck out of the way, as I'm just going to take us to the finish line as quickly as fucking possible. Okay. Right. I need to roll some dice then. Cool. Uh, can I get uh, sail repairs first, please, team? Cool. Uh, yes. So um, Milo's going to have a look at the sails and the mast as well to check that bit that she'd obviously used the air elemental to hold up. So she's going to have a look at both. Cool, cool, cool. Um, mast is holding up fine. Nothing's really impacted yet. Grand. At this point. Yep. So what are we rolling? What are we will uh, just roll a just roll a general d twenty with proficiency for you, and just a straight d twenty for you. Twenty two. Cool. 11. 11. All right. <laughs> you managed to get the patch. You managed to tie the ropes down best, best you can between the two of you. And so you were just clearing the deck. So it's what? Just you and Captain Moss? Me, Captain Moss, and the th and three. three. Three deckhands. Yeah. Cool. Um, I am helping, making sure that the, the um, Moss is lashed to the wheel. Okay. Both myself and on and three are threaded through one loop. Yep. So we're both attached to the one, t two ends of the same string. Understood. Okay. Cool. Uh, tutorial. Head you below. Up, you heading below. All right. Cool. 
Lexi, what are you doing in, in the middle of all this? Uh, you, you've been you've been out for most of this this chapter. Yeah. Hours up at this point, I presume. Uh, we're getting we're getting into the next hour. Yes. Yeah. And we're about to see the consequences of what we just did. Cool. Then he won't have got the memo, so I'm assuming he's not going to bump into anyone on his way up to deck. So at this point, no. If it's coming in the end, it's it's quiet. You come up, you see, you see a deckhand, you see Leandra, and you see uh, Moss lashed to the wheel. Cool. Gonna look up, see this. This is gonna be weird. Just yeah. Like... Deckhand, take my idiot brother downstairs. Yes. Ma'am. Uh, as three gets close, Alexi isn't doesn't it doesn't have the energy to even argue. Uh, we'll just go. Where are we bound? Cold Haven. Four's got a plan. We should be okay. But that's that's all I know. I know as much as you do. By my calculations, we have a few days. If my sister has any means of contacting anyone magical we should have a few days let's make him count then and he grabs you and pulls you downstairs yeah cool great right next hour uh who got the last roll and sorry naomi no it wasn't naomi cool uh oh david give me a cool. d20 roll please d20 roll As the effects of this will kick into action two <laughs> again fuck's sakes team all right we love heavy weather. <laughs> we really, we really do. Cool. The wind and the rain begins to pick up. Um, Some for you. <laughs> and on about the turn, you suddenly feel that same sort of like settling in, and a much louder boom as the ship rockets and launches off to to the start. Uh, you heard it clearly from whatever the equivalent of the engine room would be as the ship begins to fly forward into. <laughs> into the storm on the back of that lightning is <laughs> flying all over the place and because there are only three of you currently on board the ship yep uh right so we're gonna roll a d6 no we'll roll a d4 because the ship is also a target ship ship three okay so that is going to be dexterity uh, saving uh, throw for three it's not too bad. This is only half of that, so we're gonna need that. Cool. Twenty points of lightning damage um, comes flying through and hits the top of the ship again, and it begins to creak. Things the repair jobs. It's holding up okay at the moment, but the ship is continuing to rocket along through. Um, I need a deck save from you as well, please. Actually, are you right side by side, or where, whereabouts would you be standing in this iteration? Therefore. Um, I'm standing like towards the front of the ship. This is real like helmsman, like helmsman yeah. losing my ship. Sure, moment. sure, great. Okay, okay. In which case, then I'm not going to make you jump for that. That's only a ten on there. On that, that's that's fine. Cool. Right. You hear the explosion come from below. Are you staying in your quarters or are you carrying on through? Thank you. Uh, I can up. pop my head up. Yeah, I'll head up. As soon Start. as I see a head. I say. Oh, this isn't on the deck. I think this is this is below below deck. Or are you sticking? This your is us to... saying like this is us being like, should we go check like what we should do? Or... Yeah. Okay. Please wait here. Okay. I am happy to go up. Okay. We'll head up. As soon as I see Toot's face like come through the, mm -hmm. I'm I say if if you're not my employee, I don't need you. Understood. I am a casual observer. <laughs> Haven't you done enough today? I do not believe I have. I think you've rather done plenty, haven't you? Yes. Sen, if you want to help, go and get my deck hands. Very well. And stay out of my way. Understood. Great. Great. Cool. Yeah, right. go below, grab the deck hands. Okay. You walk into Jenny's the not here. It's Naomi's villain arc now. <laughs> <laughs> you walk into the engine room, and as you get close, even for you, the slight smell of singed flesh and burnt metal. And as you open the door, you see both engines glowing with a bright yellow light as huh. you find melted 
corpses of the sanguine gauntlet fused onto the engine spotties strewn blood everywhere the few bits sort of pick themselves back up pulling them down again a couple popping in and out of existence and at the back you see sort of tethered between the two a large lightning elemental sitting between the two just pumping and concentrating energy into it looking like it's about to burn huh interesting you just close <laughs> <laughs> yep that's valid just before you turn and you see three concentrating harder than you've ever seen them concentrate yeah before focusing everything right next iteration Sasha what am I rolling d20 that's good that's cutting down our travel time significantly 15 15 Gotta watch Matt's face carefully. <laughs> <laughs> Our face gives nothing away. Lies. Lies. Unless you compliment him and then it gets all blushy. <laughs> yeah, there you yeah, get yeah. all. No, it's not time, not time anymore. What have we got? Uh, cool. The wind begins to pick up and begins to hit from every single side, puncturing a hole in the side of the sail. The ship begins to rock one and two and suddenly he there's a as that. There's another explosion. As you close the door, there's a detonation. <laughs> inside and the ship just begins to drop yes out of my pocket i pull a book rip it in rip a page in half yep. and i conjure minor elementals and i put them put the minor elementals back into that room and reflood the engine with power okay fuck you matt <laughs> <laughs> immediately almost like it's starting a nosedive and then it comes back up again however the sail is still going Nothing. through at this point three immediately turns around could you use some help with this man turns and leaps and starts going to try and fix it as captain moss is basically just giving it everything they possibly can yeah uh, the sure. rest of you all do feel the ship begin to drop and start to fly through in the meantime Milo's gonna be like no I was told to wait here but that was before the second bang and the ship started dropping. no I'm going up um, <laughs> yeah she'll pop up and be like hole fix it got it yes lady <laughs> the least the least convincing bit is how you react to me thank you <laughs> um, I mean that's probably what she just said to Leandra as well yeah yeah it's, yeah it's just like it's um, and that's how Milo talks to yeah, yeah um, and I'm I'm whistling for deck hands and they're like just sending them up like little, little cool, like device. little lemmings. Yeah, cool. Go for it. Uh, tutorial. What are you doing? Come back up. Coming back up. Okay, we're all up. Cool. I need ideas quickly on how you're going to fix the sail before you plummet to your death. You have about forty-five seconds. Go. I'm used to getting my way up that thing. I've done it before. Cool. Great. I can do it again. Get up there then. Athletics check for me, please. By that, do you mean acrobatics? Acrobatics. Yep. Do the same thing with advantage. You're doing the same thing you did before. Great, because that's a 22. 22, absolutely perfect. Not a problem. You get up there. Yeah. Uh, you, you try and like grab it on the sail and pull it in and try to cast mending to fix the sail. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Great. You're getting onto that. Sasha, what's Myla um, doing? Myla is going to cast Thorn Whip at like the bottom of the sail to like pull it down, Great. pull it taut so that it's like easy to. Great stuff. Love that. Uh, like roll a spell to the spell. Yeah. Uh, for me, please, as your widget, add your wisdom. Yes, Reese. Um, check both either either of the cells either side. Make sure that they aren't having to deal with undue stress. Cool. In which case, roll with advantage now. I mean, okay, sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, so with my wisdom and with my uh, wisdom yeah, with your spell casting modifier. Oh, spell casting modifier. So plus five, so twenty two. Cool. Okay. Immediately managed to get in there, patch the thing back up, and the ship begins to right itself again quickly balancing itself out also going to hit up some melding uh, men, the, uh, some mel mending on my um job but great like, great you you stick it you find a couple thing. of gaps to sort of like yeah. like really come in with a lightning struck before yeah. um good good thinking nice and quick my well done sailing with her like thorn whip having having like... a having a great time moss looks on jealously uh, <laughs> everything else is going on leandra facing forwards yeah knowing everything is right with the world again yep okay great would you like to stay up or go back down my will stay up now that yeah, i mean I'm Milo's in. now like kind of yeah. Involved. Great. Alexi, we're going to just pop you up. Still up there, yeah. Yeah. Deckhand's helping. <laughs> He's doing stuff. Okay, cool. Uh, boom, boom. D20. Yeah. Okay. Oh. 17. 17. <laughs> High rolls. Numbers. Leandra. Mm hmm. Slash four. You are starting to see, as we're pushing through, rain is fading ever so slightly. However, with the odd flash, you're starting to see large, blocked shapes up ahead. 
as in uh, the direction the ship is creatures as in immovable objects such as make a perception check (laughs) sure well, it's a fat four, so I think that's probably not going to do it. Oh, ah, that's all right. He's fine. He was always going to go. He was he always going to go. Gonna go. <laughs> Hang on, I'll just hook him there on the rope. Here we go. Nope. What rope? <laughs> There's a rope here. I admire your ambition. I know. Though. Like, yeah. I really do. Yep, stay. Cool. Uh, with the four, you don't see that, but you do see, like, a very solid humanoid, massive shape in the clouds ahead of you. Okay. Um, I motion to Moss. Hi, Captain. Oh, uh, Lady. Well, I'm Captain. Hi, Lady. <laughs> Just like this fucking crew. Um, <laughs> and I point up, mm-hmm. suggesting that we take it higher. Um, and if you'll allow me to do hallucinatory terrain, as I did before, to sure. cloak us, yep. I would I would like to do that as my thing. So my, my idea is to stealth our way through it, essentially, and avoid any confrontation. Okay, great. In which case, Moss is going to do an athletics check. Uh, to try and pull up as quickly as that with the speed you have been carrying on with. Yep. One of you can assist in a way you see fit. I'll let you decide how. Can you're go I about cast that. Pass Without a Trace on the ship? It is on. Yeah, go on. If you want, unless anyone has any other ideas they want to run with. <laughs> no, I'll go for it. That, that sounds great. Yeah, that sounds awesome. All right, so we're just trying to stealth past, are we? Yep. Myla, so Myla, like, still holding onto the sail, is gonna, like, put her hand down on the ship, and just, um, <laughs> and just go. Ride like the wind. (laughs) (laughs) Shh, 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 easy, easy, easy. Cool. On the order, you begin to feel the ship rise, and the rest of you sort of see it not disappear, but envelop into like swirling cloud on the back of that. Cool. Uh, Well then, I'll get you to roll a stealth check for me then, please, since you are doing plus ten trace plus ten. Plus 10. 13. Plus, what's your spellcasting modifier? Uh, it is plus, uh, plus 4. Plus 4, and we'll put on another 4 on top, because it's a 4th level spell, I believe, for that terrain. So, plus 8. 21, then. 21. 21. Okay. <laughs> that 3 has really <laughs> been bumped. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. As you float and fly, and as the clouds ah! part, you do witness a large storm giant throwing lightning bolts into the air um, who is going to roll a perception check to see if they can spot she you juggle. for a moment as the ship crosses up high gaining, gaining, no heat is taken then suddenly there's a slight as the ship begins to struggle with a new altitude and the head snaps up to look as you fly up and over she considers for a moment. Okay. Before immediately flying up to meet you and landing on the deck of the ship. Well, balls. Um, before that happens. Yes, of course. Can I cast a arcane gate? Okay. And cause us to teleport the entire ship away. I'm. I believe there's no components needed with that is there it's just a straight it's based a, on the sheet yeah, I sent it's a you. scroll cool can you just describe what that looks like for the rest of the table please uh, Alexi she'll um, also be out here he's Alexi you stand watching and you see four pull out a rather interesting looking book and I look back at Moss and I say must I do everything myself Moss do you do everything <laughs> And there's a there's a big like the the cloud sort of sweeps round and creates like a perfectly sunny hole almost surrounded by storm and cloud and the boat just sails into it and then sails out like a, the the full distance essentially 500 feet cool. away just to sort of like great and just in time as the giant comes out is about to land and watches as the ship immediately disappears. And you look back in the distance as just before the cloud takes it, the giant yep. disappears. Um, is everyone okay with the way that I'm playing this at the moment? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm down. Yeah, cool. Good. I don't wanna I don't wanna know all your good shit, but I'm just like, let's fucking I'm done. I'm done fucking <laughs> about it's happening. Okay? <laughs> that cool? I'll come back to him. No, I, no, no. I love fun. the juggling storm giant. <laughs> She's just there like da 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 Okay. Yep. You've got a moment. 
if anyone else would like to do anything before we jump onto the next section. We are, that's what, six hours per se, so we're about three o'clock in the afternoon at this point. Uh, that wheel has been under a lot of strain. I'm gonna go around and bust out the immortal uh, mending and try and give it whatever. Like, go for it. You've got you've got enough to give the once over. Add a like, plus one to the rolls on whatever the next the next thing is. Yeah, just to help it as much as I can. Great stuff. Cool. Not a problem. Okay. I believe it's your roll. Good shit. Fifteen. Fifteen. Cool. Which I believe we've had, so we're gonna bump that. Continuing to fly through, and as the rain is starting to ease, more larger creatures, you're starting to see more shapes fly and around the clouds above you. You manage to spot this in a distance. You you catch, you're not sure what the shape is at this point. It might be a wyvern. It might be something else entirely. Okay. You can go towards it or around it. You've got enough time to warn Captain Moss ahead and the rest of your party. Um... Uh, for content's sake, I think we probably can't avoid it. I feel like that's only fair. Okay, sure. That's what you want to run? Yeah. Uh, no, we'll do this, actually. Uh, yeah, that's much more fun. I know. Yeah. Sasha, roll a d4. Ah. <laughs> Does this need to be high or low? I'm not telling you. Oh. <laughs> it's a four. It's a four. Of course it's a four. Okay. <laughs> Best number. Cool. With the direction, the momentum, everything else, Moss can't turn the ship easily enough. Mm -hmm. And as you sort of pull through into what feels like calm for a moment, you sort of notice this, almost like a tornado turned yeah. on its side as like a similar portal to what you opened up before seems to open. And I just yell back and I'm like, steady, okay. hands. Uh, make any of you, make an arcana or a nature check to try and recognize what is currently happening in front of you. <laughs> 24. Okay. I'm not going to do better than that 14. So Yeah. Uh, that's a four. That's a big... It's big. like clouds. Clouds are happening. 17 worth of Arcana, so it's you. Alexi, the others don't seem to notice. It looks like a big tornado. You recognize, you've read about this before. Within the energies and the constant swirling, you are noticing the opening of a portal to the plane of air, and it is being split open within the center of this hurricane. And it is, it is growing exponentially, quickly, quickly, quickly. Cool. Looking at that, the only thing he's going to yell is, Air Portal Bank! <laughs> great. great. Cool. Immediately. I've also got a ring, so I'm going to help. Great, great. I'll make that roll athletics with advantage then. It's a natural 20 for Moss. Oof. Great. Oh, me as well? Yes. With advantage. 19. 19. Great. Immediately, with the sudden gust of wind coming on from this newly formed uh, portal, the ship banks and turns and manages to quite deftly move and start to swing around. As you also notice, clawing out of the portal, a massive, gigantic air element oh, sweet sticking Jesus out, forcing Christ. itself out. But the ship, thanks to that quick reaction and your very good roll, managing to avoid that very quickly. Um, the ship carries on. But the air elemental appears to be, at least for In now, pursuit. giving chase at Great. this point. Captain, I firmly suggest whatever you have left in the tank, you make best use of. Given all she's got, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think you are. Um, I pull out another scroll. I'm just burning through this entire book this Great. session. Um, because I've conjured minor en elementals, but I also have conjure elemental. What? Elemental, would you like to? I conjure? would like to conjure a lightning elemental, put them in the goddamn engine. Okay. We're we're fucking hotboxing this motherfucker. We're riding that shit. Right. Cool. You go down. <laughs> it is at absolute capacity. So we're gonna make a constitution constitution saving throw for the ship that it doesn't explode immediately right then and there. Yeah, that's fine. You good? Just I'm need to double check a number. Question: How close am I to Milo right now? <laughs> you can be right next to her if you want. Emotionally or physically? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no is the answer. <laughs> uh, I think we're ne we're you're just like yeah. Yeah. You're just there next to me. Cool. As long as you're what we call reachable. <laughs> Ew. Dude. Stop. <laughs> cool. All right. Uh, who would like to make this roll? The DC is twenty-one. You have a plus five. Well, I can't roll for shit, so I'm not doing it. Well, I guess it's me. You've rolled a natural 20 this session. I don't think anyone else has, right? 
Yeah, but I've also... 15 plus 5 is a 20. Is a 20. Okay, because you've just slid underneath that. There is a boom, and the engines begin... Yep. (laughs) Okay. The ship begins to reverse, and all of you, completely unaware, the only one aware of this is you, the ship, yourself, everything begins to reverse and goes and goes. How long would you like this to run for? Oh, I'm just going to undo the explosion and undo the adding of the elemental. Clearly it was too much. That's fine. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> I'm going to conjure the elemental again. Yep. But I'm going to conjure an air elemental and put it underneath the sails and just get it to physically push us rather than overloading the engines. Great stuff. Milo cool. will cast Gust of Wind, put it in the sails as right. well. Cool. With that additional speed boost, you were able to move on quickly straight away. Uh, we're going to call that... We'll call that thirty. We'll call that thirty seconds. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Because it's the summon. It's it's a few different bits getting down there. Cool. Great. Uh, with that, then, um, add your spellcasting modifier, please, Myla. Cool. Natural twenty. Nice. There we go. Oh. There we go. Immediately, <laughs> the ship begins to rocket and take off again, and it's really starting to shudder. The wood is starting to compress with the speed and the forces being put onto it. Uh, Myla's there, just like pushing the wind into the sails. We are making incredible time on this point, so I yeah. believe, depending on how this next roll goes, Captain Moss. Where we're going. Going to be hitting Coldhaven before we know it. That's kind of the intent. I can't believe... No, no, before we know it. We're coming in too fast. <laughs> oh, um, it's always something with you, isn't it? I, I can I can change the wind the other way, try and put a brakes on. Well, we're going to find out what happens on the next roll and see see where we, <laughs> see where we land. We are rocketing across at this point. It's, it's coming, it's coming in a hot... <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to take out Coldhaven Reach itself. <laughs> Maya's just going to be like, Hi, Mum. Hi, Dad. Sorry, I just landed a ship on the shop. <laughs> Alexi's just going to watch as they plummet through where Godfrey's like, Godfrey. <laughs> <laughs> right. the, the, the ship comes through and Godfrey's there like, Very good, sir. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> wi- right. as wiping a glass, the ship just the final the glass the final off. Glass. And it's just like, <laughs> Very good, sir. <laughs> All right. As we rocket away... Um, I just need to know what the plan is in place. If we know we're coming up on it, we're coming at speed. What does the party collectively want to do? Coming to cold on they want to crash? Do they want to land? Do they want to avoid it altogether? What are we trying to achieve? Land. Yeah. I think that... Uh, I don't know the lay of the land very well. Um, based on maps or what I would have seen... Like, what is the vibe as to, like, what Coldhaven looks like, essentially? Like, what it, what are we flying into? You're flying into, essentially, a very flat marshland, which is bordered by mountains on the western side, which is where the main castle is. Otherwise, there's a lot of small towns, villages, fields. There's not there, There'd be a nice flat place to bring the boats, the ship into land safely, yep. as long as you don't land at Coldhaven Reach, which is and was its natural direction, where Moss has been taking you this entire time. Yep, cool. Um, I... Turn to Moss. I'm say. I say. We're, you're right. We're coming in too fast. Take us down on the marshes, ma'am. Yeah, be done. And we're gonna lo- basically land it like it's a boat, essentially. Cool. And use that to increase the drag. We'll reverse the gust. Um, call off the minor elementals and threes elemental in the engine. Cool. Cut all the power, um, and then use the air elemental to just give us just enough. To pull us down. All right. Well, let's see what happens in the lo- this last iteration. It's pretty, uh, pretty good. Apt, yeah. It's good. I, I like was that. just trying to get like a good lay of the land. Yeah. The David. Up. Yes. It's your roll, buddy. Oh, okay. Cool. Woo. Six. Okay. Suddenly, the air starts to come and starts to push down on the ship from above. Forcing you, it says downdrafts. I'm just reading what, what my note, what my notes say. Ideal. <laughs> it's great, but fighting it, the ship is going to be coming in too low to necessarily make that. So we're going to be landing, but we're going to be landing hard at this point. What would we like to do? I want to land hard. Okay, we're coming in hard. Uh, I'm going to cast grease on the bottom of the boat, mm-hmm. so that at least when we come down. We've got a little bit more room, and we're not hitting friction straight away. Cool. How many people are on the deck? Uh, currently, there is the entire party, Moss, three, and the last deckhand that survived. Yep. So Tie down! Eight in total. Yes. Uh, Can't save eight people. Um, Myla, hang on a sec. I need to figure out what my challenge rating I can uh, change into my world shape for. I can't remember. Ah. Uh, 
Uh, because I was busy looking at another thing. Um, one half. How, what's the biggest thing I can turn into that's that? Oh, God. Uh, half. Show advanced filters. Not fly. Swim. Uh, how deep are the marshes? It's a marsh. It's not going to be that it's deep. marsh knee deep. Yeah. yeah. What's the biggest dip. animal you can turn into? I'm finding out. Um, right, well, we have one athletics check. Toot is going to go around and secure as many people as possible with yeah. rope. Okay, great. Yeah, tie him down. Cool. Uh, kind of need to know what Myla's turning into first. Yeah. Give me a second. But basically, <laughs> Featherfall yeah, is going to be. Featherfall the people that you can. I've got a yeah. thing for Myla if I need to. Cool. All right, so um, Featherfall will be... Essentially, he's just going to go around and see who needs Featherfalling. Great. Anybody with a name. <laughs> he, um, <laughs> Sorry. The first one will be to check if mine is going to be okay. <laughs> Everyone will get Featherfalled if they can. How big do I need to be to swallow someone? Like, large? Yeah, large. What Ideally do you have? huge. I can be a couple of large swimming things. Okay. So if anyone it's wants to be swallowed, so swimming isn't. Yeah. No. Okay. Uh, nix that. Um, once we're down, I'm going to be exceedingly tapped. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Got it. So if anything goes sideways, I won't be able to help you. Can you handle it, brother? I'll be quite fine. It is my home. I know the way around. Milo, if you're best turning into something small, you can get in my pocket. Uh, we can min If I can minimize the amount of people, Great. my magic can... I cast Tidal Wave underneath the boat. I am going to cast Featherfall, so it's myself and five others. So it's a reaction, so if things go tits up, yeah, I'll if have that I, yes. I want to have these people within... It's 30 feet. Understood, understood. Yeah. I just yeah. want to be ready, so it's going to be... If Mike was something small, yeah, fine. fit in his pocket, that's yeah. fine. So that's Alexi for Toot, although he doesn't look happy about it. <laughs> um, the captain, three. And I can get one other deckhand that leaves us dry one. Okay. Uh, begrudgingly, because very much... When Alexi speaks to Toot, it is... Like, the expression is grave and ashen. So you need to carry one of the deckhands. Understood. Uh, so, with one deckhand in Toot's arms, the other one has feather fall on. Mm -hmm. That should be everyone covered. Yeah. Cool. Right. Prepped for that if it all goes tits up. Cool. So, just so we know what, what I'm rolling for here. Currently, Moss is trying to resist and keep the ship up that we don't crash too early. Yep. They want to keep enough height to clear the mountains, otherwise we're going to be crashing near the Coldhaven Reach. If we get a success, we're we'll coming in near Waygrove, which is to the east and in the marsh yeah. lines of the foot. Not miles away from home home, but it's better than flying into the, the, the nest. It's, yeah. it's a journey, but it's okay. It's a single roll. Okay, and it is a... Would you like to cast a Guidance on that? I'd like to. For a hot I would, I would like absolutely. That. Just roll a, yeah. what am I, yeah, roll Matt, a so you get You get an extra Yeah, so D4. roll the d4 now. Oh. Matt, were there any flying things in the menagerie? Three. No. Uh, you got a three. Three, plus three, so it's a plus six. Okay. It's a natural two. Plus six for eight. The ship starts to succumb to the wind and as you come in too hot unable to slow down beginning to skim through alexi you are suddenly greeted as you fly out of the mist in the cloud in the sky rocketing towards you see cold haven reach just on your left as moss tries to hold it as best they can do we still cast tidal wave underneath to try and give us some more buoyancy or are we just letting this happen 
Um, as as we are now like getting to? 300. That's what you've got to do. 200. Otherwise, it's going to okay, hit the yep. castle. And tidal wave. Done. Cool. Tidal wave comes up underneath and just carries, lifts the boat, launches down through, <laughs> hitting the rocks, bounces down through the side, all over the place, through, and suddenly crashes landings. Uh, string saving throws from everyone, please. Uh, with advantage if you're doing the fearful <coughs> thing as well. I'm it's not doing fearful. Great. Myla's going to turn into a tiny snake. Great. <laughs> She's just wrapped around Alexi. <laughs> what kind of saving throw? Uh, strength, please. Cool. Nine. Nine. Great. Sixteen. Yeah. Sixteen. Cool. Eleven. Fail. Fail. Do you want me to do a strength save as yes, a snake? Yes, please. Uh, nine. Nine. Fail. Sixteen. Sixteen. Pass. Cool. The ship lands. Uh, you each take. Those of you that you fail will take a full. Oh, it's not so bad. Seven points of bludgeoning damage as you're suddenly rocketed and battered against the side of the ship. I am not a snake uh, anymore. Three. <laughs> three also fails with a natural one. Uh, it takes the same thing as well. It's the 11 points. Do I take any damage on my pass? On your what, sir? I pass the strength save. Do I take any You damage? take half damage, so you'll okay. take five. Five points of bludgeoning on the back of that. That's fine. My concentration on further four holds. Great. Cool. You still manage to come in through, land the ship as it skitters, and you land in the cold wetlands. I'm so sorry. Did you say five points of damage? Five. Thank you. The ship comes sliding through as the tidal wave wears off, suddenly stuck in the marshlands and the mud. And you look up at a good number of miles away, the imposing Coldhaven Reach as we're in the Greylands once more. And that's where we're going to take a break. And we'll come back to that in just a second. Don't go anywhere. We're just getting started. It's Coldhaven time, baby. <laughs> Hello, it's us again, Sasha and David. Wrong way. <laughs> Ah, hello! <laughs> You're here! Ah, I was not expecting this, even You're though here. I was counted down! We're here! <laughs> and we're here to talk about Patreon. We have one. It's amazing. Yes. You know what we also have that's amazing? There's a Discord channel. There There's is a, a Discord, Discord channel. channel. Server. There's a whole Discord. That, that's one it. whole Discord. There's a channel. I like how, in. you know, like when we play, I'm order and your chaos, but whenever we do this, you're order and I'm chaos. It's lovely. Yeah, that's because I. I'm a businesswoman, Yes, David. and I'm insane. Yeah. There's also going to be bonus content. There's going to be content that you couldn't get access to at the same time before, but now you can. Ooh. That made sense. How many takes has it been? <laughs> and yeah, there's just going to be loads of extra bits and pieces, some behind the scenes stuff. Um, anything that we do will probably pop up on there first. So yeah, go check it out. Sash, what else do we have to see? Matt, stop laughing. <laughs> so if you're looking forward to just finding out a bit more about what we're doing behind the scenes, Helping us keep Matt stocked with hats, keep the padlocks on his cage. He needs so many hats. Oh, so many hats. But yeah, come check it out. We'll see you there. Oh, Bye. and thank you so much for all your love and support. <laughs> I'm saying it before Matt yells at me again. Really clenched it there, buddy. Really clenched it. Right. Bye, kids. <laughs> And welcome back. Before the break, four crashed an airship. Though not intentional, the rushing winds, the great storms, and the sudden pressure of everything meant that getting out of the storm as quickly as possible became paramount. Still taken on the visage of Leandra Karstav, the party now find themselves crashed in the marshlands just east, a half hour's wander even, from Alexi's home of Coldhaven Reach. And licking their wounds, their couple of bruises and cuts, the party now find themselves in, for the most part, a strange gray land. What happens next? You stick your head out for a second, Alexi being the first to, and being the only one to really manage to brace properly on that on that head. Also, this is my home. <laughs> and you, you immediately recognize that the plants look almost lively here the, the 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 mist that sort of sits at the bottom is is there's there's a joyous bounce to it the way it flows and moves through you look up and you see the ever imposing even more dramatic now cold heaven reach sitting looming over the the other towns you look back knowing waybroke grove being not too far from where you are and you also know that many people would have seen a giant ship fly from the sky and land here and there would be given the weather at least 
some grace of time before you need to scarper and are discovered by the more ruthless members of your family. Okay, then uh, sort of what he's going to do is go over to uh, Leandra, Mm -hmm. first of all, and go to help you up. Don't touch me. I get up myself and I I lean towards you. I grab you by the, the collar. The minute you go to do that, he will just very quickly go, and then, and then, as if I'm admonishing him, I say, "This is not going to hold up as soon as we get inside. You're going to have to cover for me." I'm going to. She would not touch me. Don't do that. Okay. I let go of him, and I'm just. I spit on the floor. <laughs> Again, Alexia's like. <laughs> it's okay. She's pissed. Don't worry okay. about it. <laughs> That's <a> failure. <laughs> uh, Myla's I, gonna oh. scoot up alongside. Um, Alexi, she's going to give Leandra some sort of, like, <laughs> evils, but it's Myla, so realistically she sort of goes like... <laughs> um, are you okay? I don't have time to think about it. I know, but you're home and we're about to probably meet a lot of your family. What? Did you roll a natural 20? Nope. Uh, Brothers and sisters, a lot of people Great. here want to get. Yeah. Sorry. Uh... Quietly would, excuse me, quietly will just say to you, I'll do what I can to introduce, say everyone's name, some sort of thing, just follow my lead, behave entirely how I behave. No, I, no outward displays of emotion in front of, you are one of the betters of this place. Remember that. Ugh, disgusting. Great, uh, deck hands. The uh, Colin's gone, right? Colin. Oh, Colin went. Oh, Colin's Colin went a dead. long time ago. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> Leandra does. Everyone's surprised Leandra knows who Colin is. Um, so yeah, two will have gone around she and checked. Name badge once. The deck hands. Anyone who's bashed up too badly will cast cure wounds, um, and will be making sure they're okay. Sure, you, you check. You check through the deck hands, and you're you you know you you feel you're making a good. A good headway through, and then you get up to the top, and you How's find. How's Moss looking? Is he dead? Captain Moss is they dead? impaled on the ship oh, with the landing. Was happen. Spoke straight oh, through the oh, shoulder. No. Uh, That's what I was rolling. I uh, rolled a four and a natural one on the death save. Yeah. Go cool. On. Pull, pull them up. Yep. Sit them down. Wait, wait a few seconds, and we'll kind of whisper and say, "I hope death gives you the same choice." <laughs> As Moss sits up suddenly and the wound starts to close. Hello, Captain Moss. Awesome. Fucking sucked. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you know. think that sucked? Wait to see what happens when you crash a ship. Oh my god. They start sort of like scuttering away from the wheel a little bit, seeing their own blood sort of like seep oh. off and oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah, up yeah. into their body. It's 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 a funny experience. I turn away. <laughs> deep deep breath. Alexi will deep breath. Keep by your side. Uh, turning away with you. We'll go. Obviously, the way my family behaves is quite different. Uh, we're going to have to come up with a quick thing. If I touch my nose, you're going the wrong way. Do the opposite thing. If I touch my beard. That's correct. Great. Deep breaths. It's okay. Do you need anything else? Oh, just a minute. Very well. Yeah. Ma'am, anything you need. As they try to like right themselves and stand back up. Oh, you're only going to get blood all over it. I'll get someone else to do it. Um, and I wave to the deckhands towards my quarters and get them to fucking guess what that means. Uh, <laughs> it's scary. And, and, as and I start stalking off towards the castle. <laughs> Myla's uh, going to come up alongside Alexi and be like, I know you're going to have to play a part to help. Help. Um, but if you need anything from me, just say the word. Thank you. I don't know what yet, but... There will be. Little wooden boy. Interesting. 
<laughs> yes. I like as he touches his beard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great. Maya's um, going to scoot, so she's going to let the two car stabs kind of go ahead and she'll scoot in alongside Toot and also kind of like give Toot like a little nudge and be like, hmm. you're right. Well, well, kind of very gently nudge back. And how close is Moss? Oh, Moss, Moss is sitting on the on the ship at this cool. point. They're, 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 we they're are. exhausted, yeah. We're yeah, heading. we're heading out. Hi. Pleasure it's serving you, ma'am. I'll take care of this. As I don't even respond. Sure. Mm. One, of the deck ends. <laughs> <laughs> One of the deckhands comes running up with, with a long parasol umbrella and tries to fumble to open it up. And I take it off him and I just say, see to the mess. <laughs> Very good. Um, so. Three is also a deck yeah. end, just sort of trotting along, carrying bags. <laughs> We're going to get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get there. Yeah. We'll get there. Go, race, go. No, it's okay. Sorry, buddy. Uh, no, why? <laughs> it's your world, buddy. I'm, I'm just walking it. Um, yeah. So we'll gently nudge Mala back and go, It has been a day. But I would say that being confronted by probably the greatest shames I have ever committed is not the learning experience I had hoped. Yeah, I, um... At least regret and guilt will be a learning experience. Maybe? I do not like them. No. I do not like them at all. Yeah. This is not pleasant. No. Um, I have many regrets. I have many angers. Mm. But I am currently being confronted with them. This is not fun. No. But that is not the point of the exercise. Well... How are you? Oh, I mean... Um, fine. <laughs> Milo's fine. Milo's fine. Um, in comparison to everyone else, I think I'm doing... I'm doing all right. So I just want to make sure that... Everyone else is as supported as possible because, oh, it's, um, as you put it, been a day. It has. And we'll just kind of <laughs> point out his, one of his arms that is just charred and reddened. Is this aging? Ah, uh, no. Oh. Well, it might be for you, actually. I don't know. Oh. Well. I think it looks like a burn. Oh. You can probably get it treated. Oh. Thank you. I can try and help. No, thank you. I believe reminders are important of lessons learned. Hmm. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, well, time to try and... I guess we're going to walk into the hornet's nest? I would not recommend that. I believe that would be damaging for all of us. I think that is exactly what it will be, yes. Yes, that is the nature of hornets. That is the nature of I would of suggest staffs. if we do... Are cast outs hornets? In this metaphor? Yes. Oh, a metaphor. Very good. I have a joke. Yes. Knock, knock. Uh, who's there? Buzz, buzz. Is it a hornet? It is a hornet's nest. <laughs> Yes. Did we walk into it? We could do if we opened the door. <laughs> uh, because the knock knock was on the door. Yeah, I okay. Uh, do we, should we open the door? To a hornet's nest, it you know. Might let the hornets out. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> uh, Alexi is going to take out the uh letter that he uh that his dad sent. Yes. Uh to Leandra. Um and specifically point out the line or he said he wanted some sort of uh, reconciliation between the two of them before mm. he died. But uh, your sister did an excellent power grab, from what I can understand, uh, which I respect. Um, I think we should avoid as many people you actually know as physically possible. That is going to be quite impossible. Right. Um, you said there was a place, I remember, I'm sorry, I did cut you off. It wasn't really relevant at the time. It has become very relevant now. I can take us there, but first things first, what we need to do is the following things. It was our father's last wish 
that you and I get along. You don't like it. Very much so. But you are respecting it. Okay. As such, that will make some sort of headway as to why I am standing by your side and I would do things that would otherwise be not allowed. This is of paramount importance or they'll turn him into scrap and her into cattle. Fab. Uh, we are probably dead. Oh, aren't we always? Um, three, do you want to do a moss? Might be slightly more useful. Yeah, sure. And Thanks. You watch the deck. Not end. if moss suddenly follows us. I believe there is a question. Moss, moss is still on the boat. Yeah, at this point. Can, can we really like hear problem? what they're saying? Absolutely. Okay. Is there anything you want to do with that? Yeah. Yeah, you notice the one deckhand that's following very closely to Leandra, like, not looking as scared as the others. She's just going to be, like, from sort of behind. Um, I... I think I would prepare for things to not be at all as you remembered them. If it helps, I don't remember them at all. I'm not actually Leandra. I... Probably not, but we can at least do what we can. I have some, I have a lot of knowledge of what this place is like, and... I've picked up a couple of things myself. You see as as three turns into moss and drops the bags and snaps as one of the deckhands to... These are the most easygoing deckhands. <laughs> Just roll the Leander is still terrifying. It's fine. <laughs> um, listen, my only interest is to get to our quarters, find a bed... <sighs> Uh, rest and not get murdered before then. Doable. The first thing that you would have to do as uh, oh God, I can't remember her actual title uh, as magistrate, your first responsibility is to see your way to the Grand Hall. Others must demand uh, some sort of others must proclaim their fealty now you've returned. It's standard sort of operating procedure. She doesn't like it, but she accepts it. She probably likes it a little bit. Is she still magistrate if your father's dead? I don't know. You all hear the sudden noise of hooves and wheels approaching quickly, and you look up, you see uh, probably a half a dozen horses, um, soldiers on, on horseback, and then a separate four-horse drawn Is it carriage. Your sister? If it's your sister, I'm fucked. Um, what I, Alexa will do is just sort of like Leo to Marley goes, the minute if you see a car staff who comes out, just describe them to me and I'll see if I can identify them. Okay. And uh, we'll say to four, stand forward, look particularly unimpressed, they are late. Yes, I've, I've seen you. Um, Myla's going to peer into the carriage as much as she can, see if she can see you. Make a perception check. Uh, can I also get Nyx to have a look as well? 15. Cool. Like, I can use the owl. Go for it if you want to send Nyx ahead. Uh, Nyx is just, yeah, going to fly up. Great. Try and get uh, make a perception check for the owl, and I'll, then I'll tell you the answer. Uh, oh, 18 plus something. I think it's... Cool. You can't see anyone. You can't you can't see anyone because you see the carriage is empty. Okay. And they're making great haste towards your point. They're picking us up. A horse arrives. A a, a sort of a middle aged human woman, short grey hair, sort of cut with a fine helmet takes off. Hops off the horse quickly, drops on onto her knee. My lady. Open the uh, door. It's freezing. Yes, you fools, you fools. Yes, please, we we fared the worst. And we get in. Mm-hmm. And I'm uh, like, and you can get in as well, I guess. In- including the your brother, my lady. Listen, our father had some particular. We do. Mm, I'll. T- not yours to worry about. Just like get in. Will that in. not cause some confusion, my lady? Do you think I cannot clear up the confusion? Yes, very good, very good. Yes, of course. I, I, I trust. I will send word ahead. Thank the, you. The Lord of the House will be aware. And by thank you, I mean get out. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. And and she bows and jumps on the horse. And right, you heard. Are you all getting on the carriage? Yeah. Myla yeah. is starting to look like kind of panicked and sort of not quite sure like she's the best to describe it is she's thinking a lot <laughs> and like panicking uh, will this make an issue with them choosing to sacrifice Alexi 
Was that not clear? Um, no, I am hearing that for the first time. Oh. Sorry, I can't drop the voice now. It is rather intoxicating <laughs> just being a cunt to everyone. Yes. Um, <laughs> Content warnings are in the description. <laughs> uh, Alexi will reach out to sort of like let just the side of his touch Myla's. She's going to like fully like go like that. She's going to be like, there is something really, I, I, I can't. What? Uh, in the carriage, uh, you have to go first. Yeah. I, I, um, I grab to, and I say, you can, you're, you're good at this. You can, you can help her. Oh, understood. Thank you. Myla, deep breaths. Please keep breathing. Continue to put air into your lungs. A squirrel is placed in front of you. <laughs> I, it's, it's not that, it's that... Are we in the carriage by this point? Yeah. I believe, unless anyone refused to get in. Yeah, it will have yeah, no, she's, she's getting in. She's uh, like, uh, Alexi yeah. will have, as subtly as possible, arrange the order of Leandra himself, yeah, then yeah. Myla, then Toot. Understood. And then Ross yeah. on the back. Yes. Good. Yes. Not yeah. allowed in. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sorry. Please. Deep breaths. Can you give me the letter again? And she's just going to sit there and she's staring at it and she's basically like reading the words over and over and over again. May I suggest we slow the carriage somewhat? Yes. Um, Moss would need to order it. You you yell at him. I've done my yelling. Uh, I need to, to wait. rest. Uh, yeah, Alexi will just bank on right. the thing. Oh. Mm-hmm. Slower, we need more time. Understood, understood. Uh, Slow up! Slower, 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 slower. You hear it echoing up up front as the, yeah. As it, <laughs> nice. it slows. Myla, I believe that the trap was to sacrifice Alexi. I think something like that. There's just something that I can't. Who's the Lord? I have no idea. I'd not heard of Leandra getting married or anything, or anyone who could have... He wasn't wearing a ring. Wasn't, he never yeah. picked anything up. Um, okay, what I'm going to do is uh, sort of, like, sit next to Myla uh, with the letter, uh, the Tome of Investigation. Sure. And What are you trying to surmise? Um, Basically, I imagine this is going to kind of be a joint thing as Alexa, like, okay, take me through precisely in this what it is that's giving you any sort of pause and using the power of the book as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, going to try and, I don't know, decode some sort of, see if there's some sort of like hidden message sure. built into it or whatever it is that Myla is getting stressed about. Sure. And, yeah. Cool. Make, 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 make the roll. Okay. Uh, oh, that's not great. That is a 13. It reads as a letter. You, you can read contempt, certainly, in, in there. You, you read contempt. You don't pick up any veiled meanings in that, and you're not able to identify who the current lord is. There's no mention of, of, of Derek in there. You can, you can only assume that potentially one of the other senior male figures has, has stepped up, someone potentially more, more competent. But you, no one, the concerning thing is no one immediately springs to mind. No. Are you sure your father's dead? <sighs> Seems I, logical. You recognize the handwriting. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it, well. Have you thought about whether your sister might be their sacrifice? Uh, that is possible. Bangs on the roof again for Moss. Oi. In. Is that proper, sir? Just hang on the side and open the window. Yeah. <laughs> just sticks the head. I'm, I'm just like. <laughs> really stressful. Oh, we're not out in the open. We're like shadow. Yeah. Anyway, what, what's up? You're certain my father is dead. Yes, I believe so. How certain? Seventy percent. I haven't seen a body, but this has been. How did you hear he was dead? Oh, through discussions with the other deckhands and and, and, how? and Leandra. How did he die? I, I don't know the specifics on that. I know Leandra went up to Garen Springs for a discussion and the body was found a couple of days later. What about a Lord Karstav? 
keeps to keeps to himself. N- no, but have you heard any other mentions of a Lord Karstaff? Only, only in the past six, seven months, potentially. What have you heard precisely? Uh, he's vindictive. He's cruel. He's brilliant. He sounds like every other Lord That's Karstaff all of we've them? ever had. Yes, he keeps to himself. He, no Lord Karstaff has been seen outside the castle. Physical appearance? I don't know. I haven't seen him, sir. Uh, this is my first time oh, coming here as well. Good heavens! We're going if I was Leandra, would I not say, Lord Karstav, kill somebody, and then say, oh, I bring things from Lord Karstav? It's valid. It, That's I, what I would fucking do. I understand, but, for instance, I would be addressed as Lord Alexei Karstav. The idea of a Lord Karstav would be a patriarch of some sort. I have a question. Who made the original deal? None of us know. So would that be a Lord Karstaff? None of us know. So if that is someone who... Matt's getting a little twinkly face. So if that is someone who is an unnamed patriarch of unknown age, where there are rumours. Or possibly, if they made the original deal, and now, owing to the circumspect nature of death, maybe this is that Lord Caster. If we are going in to meet the first Caster, then this is going to be very interesting, and we're all going to be profoundly out of our depth. Just if for it a helps. change. I, yes, I was going to say, if it helps, I am also out of my depth. I have been out of my depth for a very long time. In fact, ever since you met me. What would be standard for me would be, especially after the day, for you to demand rest and then a party. Road gives way to cobblestone and Great. you begin to clatter up looking out. You see lots of gaunt faces peeking out through to see this procession you see different soldiers guards lining the streets hurriedly as if this has been very last minute put together and in the pouring rain adjusting themselves stopping and giving a a point of salute you count tens hundreds lining following the procession of the carriage and the horses making their way up to the castle Uh, Milo what is wrong I don't think Alexi I don't think you're safe oh no I'm profoundly not uh, David was about to say something just before I'm going to shift everyone except Leandra so we would be facing back Mm -hmm. as in uh, so Leandra is facing forward the way the carriage is going sitting in the middle so when people look in like as she would appear if it were a procession sure cool understood yeah um sorry we'll just finish this four mile I think first (laughs) no two mile yeah sorry sorry. sorry. Is it your firm belief that Alexei is in danger if he stays in this carriage? I don't know if it's the carriage. I just don't... I don't... Three. We, it's, it's a trap of some sort. I just don't know what. But if this is our best plan. We have a good Leandra. Just buy us a little time. Maybe can we hide Alexei somewhere? Get him out of the way. You know what we do have? We have someone who could be Alexei. I so we're gonna really struggle. Hat disguise, can you become moss? We'll do beards and things. It'll be a fuckery, but like that's really the only option You've we have. You've got. I could turn you into an animal for a small amount of time, for an hour, I think. Something like that. Mm-hmm. No, we need. To, I need to be able to communicate with them to manage what's happening. Yeah, and an animal won't. I can't. I can't give you your thoughts. Uh, Alexi was. <laughs> Can I think of a um, particular servant of Leandra's? Um, or, or, or like um, a courtier or something like that uh, that she particularly may have taken favour on from outside of Coldhaven Ridge? Uh, sure, there, there is Michelle who was, she sort of took a shine as much as Leandra can take a shine from 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 Garen Springs. Yeah, one of one of one of the slum girls, just 
found her in LA one day and thought, why not, you poor wretched thing, I'll do the charitable thing. And Michelle has been very much a confidant, not a, not a servant, but very much the closest thing Leandra has to a close friend. Yeah, yeah. That. Yes. Like, they'd be every so often seen just sort of walking arm and arm, but Leandra is very much like, oh, what a pet. Yes, it, exactly, yes. It's, it's I'm... great. The only great. problem with that is that riders have seen me get in the carriage. Well, that's what we have three for. Hello. If they, if you look like me, you'll, forgive me, you'll be seen through immediately. This is all for sure. I can be haughty and tight and fuck you-esque. It's fine. And immediately, just the face turns into Alexi. Adjust the beard and just sort of like, like looking in a mirror, like matches your appearance perfectly. Right. Lord Alexi Karstav, and you'll do better to speak to your superiors. Are we feeling my boot? Are we clear? You didn't stammer once. Uh, 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 are we clear? Better. Thank you. Th- thank you. Um, Great. Oh, God, this is going to get very, very confusing. Let's go! Alexi will make himself as Leandra's lady-in-waiting. Cool. So, we have Michelle. Michelle. Michelle, which you are currently disguised as. Can you please get me the DC check I need for that out of disguise? 13. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cool. You are remaining as Leandra. Yeah. And I will be taking on the role of Alexi Karstav. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. It's Shakespearean and it's fuckery. Cool. Um, should I have a disguise? I don't know. I was wondering if I should have a disguise, but I think we're probably disguised out. Very well. They will not know who I am. They won't know who I am either. Oh. You're you're about you're about five four, quite quite a slim profile. Yep. Brown eyes, tan freckled skin. Like... Blue eyes, isn't it? It's blue eyes. What? Oh, oh Michelle. No, no, Michelle. Oh, Michelle. Michelle. Yes, see, yes. See, see. Uh, walk behind, stay quiet, look uncomfortable. Oh, okay. Uh. I hate this. Let's go. <laughs> the procession gets grander as you move away from the pause yeah, uh, just... into. Do that thing Richard with my Blanks. hand. The horses come forward and make a circle as the carriage comes into the middle and comes to a stop. Uh, I need a Godfrey to be ready, please. <laughs> Reese is so stoked with himself. I'm so happy. A large gothic tower sits behind a large, massive <laughs> so wall. Happy. An iron wrought gate sits, a collection of sanguine gauntlets intermixed with traditional Raven Queen coloured guards at this point. The carriage stops. There's a knock on the door. I, I uh, let you open the door. Um, I get out, I ignore everyone, and I just a, walk. A hand is reached for you to take to help you down. I ignore it. A, a finely dressed gnome. So I'm close, my lady. And, and sort of uncomfortably like covers their neck. You you notice a lot of the uniforms have like not too much, just high high yep. necked collars on that to, yeah. to hide the many scars and everything because that would be uncouth. Distasteful. Uh, Announcing her ladyship, she returns. Lady Leandra Karstov. I just I walk. I'm I'm. I'm managing this basically by ignoring as many people as I can get away with ignoring. Classic. Um, <clears throat> And I need you to basically lead me. Oh yeah, yeah, he's he's doing arm. that. Um, the minute the announcement is done, Alexi will get out. Three, uh, three gets out. Uh, we're gonna do a little performance check. Oh no, is in like Michelle. No. Oh, Michelle, Michelle, Michelle gets, gets out. out. Michelle gets Understood. out. Sorry. Alexi. Can we can we use yeah oh, names sorry. of names yeah, of people? Sorry, not a problem. I'm I'm going to be two people short. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Michelle gets like out, that. takes um, Thor's arm, and. We'll just give a nod. The entire time you'll be led by either a series of tugs or props. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mistress Michelle Wavering, confidant of Lady Leandra. Michelle. It's very odd how they phrase that, really, isn't it? Now, uh... Oh, I'm just very flattered, miss. <laughs> it doesn't look good on you. Um, I need rest. This Quite has so been nice. terrible. Probably Moss destroyed the ship. Shall I have the wine sent to your room, my lady? Um, I did feed just before we came down, so... 
I think I'm okay. As, as you're approaching, many, many handmaidens, waiters come to collect what little things they can off the deckhands, not to let them sully the yeah, fine yeah, halls yeah, and yeah, begin. Yeah. Uh, to your room. Yes. Lady Leander now- is tired and will be going straight to her room. Very good, ma'am. I believe the Lord has prepared a meal for your return and for the prodigal son whom was so unfairly banished. Uh, I give them a look that's like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so unfair. R- right? Yeah. Yes, yes, good, yeah. good, good. Um, yeah. Uh, mm. I, I shall, is, 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 is he in, in He now? should be following Jules. Yes, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, so yeah. at this point you do hear, with some disdain, Lords, Alexei, Aloysius Karstav returns. He's coming with me. Cold head and he sort of peters out as soon as yeah. you speak up. I need to keep an eye on him. Cool. He can't be trusted. Just Myler and Toot will just get out and just like. Yeah. And just a, a snelf. So nice. Yeah, anyway. So <laughs> you'll, yeah, yeah. you'll get out and you are just not accosted, good. just greeted with yeah. with many hands to take whatever coats, pieces you have with you. Uh, but waiting at, at the head. Uh, approaching three, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, hello. Uh, hello. Hello. <laughs> yes. Hello. Um, very good, sir. It is very good to see you again, sir. Y- y- yes. Uh, 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 may I direct you toward the dining room? Um, uh, you must course. be famished. I'm very, very hungry. Uh, may I? Yes, uh, very well, everyone. Uh, uh, we will adjourn to the I, I, dining I believe room. We should re- yeah, mm. I'm just like, he hasn't earned it yet. Oh, uh, no, this is Lord Alexi Aloysius Karstav. Lord Godfrey. Uh, this is, <laughs> of course, Godfrey. Uh, <laughs> the faithful manservant to Lord Karstav, who, if dust could be made to carry a, 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 like a tray of drinks, it would be Godfrey. Um, if, like, if, if, dust, if dust could uh, fashion hot towels for one's forehead. Yes, just with, like... A, it, it weirdly, oddly anachronistic yeah, in yeah, that yeah. he is still in very full... very overlook hotel. Yeah, very full, like, kind of coattails, <laughs> white Alexi wants shirt. Alexi so badly. In one of the few kind of not high collars, but, like, it's it's quite high collared, but not as high as everyone else's. And he it's is, the fact that his ears have come so Yeah, low. just yeah. the <laughs> lobes on the ears are... He just looks a bit melted by the sound of it. Yeah, it, it. Like, um, you know, is it the... the sh- those dogs that are mostly yeah, bloodhound type thing. Yeah, just 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 Jowl. that. Jowly. Yeah. Just like you're uh, a sharpe. Yes, yeah, a sharpe a sharpe of a man <laughs> is uh, is Godfrey. All wrinkled. And it's just like ah yes, uh, but uh, uh, Lord Carstaff has of course been uh, away for a while. I will happily uh, uh-huh. prepare uh-huh. the dining room for you, and I've uh, pre- prepared things just as you left them. Some of them. Much, much worse. Uh, <laughs> Michelle is going to lean over and do that sort of like Mean Girls style whisper in that it looks like she's obviously saying some pretty harsh shit about someone, uh, but whisper to Leandra, order your bath prepared, then order everyone to your chambers, including everyone, all of us. Um... Someone should be drawing me a bath right now. Yes, uh, once we have adjourned no, to the dining room, we will, of course, find our way to your various places. Lord Castaf, of course, does not wish to be delayed. Uh, follow me all to the dining room. <laughs> uh, I completely ignore Godfrey. Cool, no problem. Um, and turn myself to the chambers, and I just wait for the others to follow me. Ah, Michelle, uh, it's very good. I thought you were else. Uh, yes, uh, Michelle, you... Oh, is that old man? Are you, uh... uh, 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 uh roll a d20, Reese. Hmm? For Godfrey, just a straight roll. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Natural 20! Hey, he knows. <laughs> can I insight? You can. Quick, do the secret handshake. <laughs> uh, Fourteen on insight to see if Godfrey recognizes. Uh, I'll, I'll just weird. say, 
Godfrey definitely knows. Godfrey's uh, a man of uh, impeccable I, uh, perception. perception. And, and when also, it comes to Alexis, yeah, yeah. Just, he's seen Alexi practice the voices of all of the <laughs> all of the servants in the mirror. Yeah, yeah. And just as prison like ah to the ladies' room first, Godfrey. But you must be famished, Michelle. <laughs> Godfrey, to the ladies' room. Godfrey. I am not allowed in the ladies' room, (laughs) sir. You can wait outside. (laughs) Let's go. Godfrey, you would bring my food to my room. I I think that would be... Well, I'll have to ask them to dress. But if they if they choose to, I I mean, could possibly wait a sec. Uh, but if mm. Godfrey, yes, yes, the uh, lady was clear. Which one, <laughs> Lady Leandra? Oh yes, yeah, uh, <laughs> you right. have your orders, Godfrey. I do have. Well, I do sense. have my orders, <laughs> sir. I have several of my orders, sir. Godfrey, please, uh, well, please. <laughs> Alexi. Uh, well, yeah. Yes. <laughs> no. My God, it's like Freaky Fucking Friday. <laughs> no. no. Milo's no. just like, I have no idea. What's Milo, <clears throat> Milo's fine. Having the best time right now. <laughs> she, despite everything, is like, this is this is going in the book of like all time Milo favorite fuckery moments. <laughs> so yeah. she's quite enjoying this. You should have fed Godfrey to the wolves years ago. And the wolves would not have me, madam. <laughs> Um, I would. Uh, I rem- if you remember, and if you recall, you kicked me to them several times <laughs> in your youth. Thank God and swallowed. each one of them, uh, I remember the eldest of the wolves <laughs> sniffed me four times He's and then going fled. To keep talking. Um, but um, Lord, uh, Ca- uh, Lord mm, Michel, uh, <laughs> I feel uh, we should um, uh, adjourn to the dining room. Maybe we. Should have turned to the dining room first, and then yeah, once we've we, seen Lady Leandra to her room. Once we've seen Lady Leandra to her room. Godfrey. 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 Lord has actually cast her. Godfrey. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Hello. Sir. Enough. Just dilly dally. I do not know. Understands. Yes. Be gone with you. Very Take good. Take my things to my room. Very good, sir. Yes. Michelle. No. Could no, no, you, no. 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 Do as you're told. I, but I. You know, go, uh, me, yeah. <laughs> and good. Godfrey slinks to the shadows. Very good, Banished sir. Banished by the GM. <laughs> Very good, sir. Uh, My hair's too. That man is going to have the biggest hug later. <laughs> yeah. Two, two, just like, what an odd man. <laughs> <laughs> what an odd person. Yes. There he is, he's um, back. Cool. So, I just want to know, because time is a thing. Yeah. <laughs> Are we going Godfrey, dining or are we going straight to our rooms? We're going straight to our rooms. Given, to... given the state that Leandra would look in, there is, and Alex will be, there is no way she would go to dinner oh, yeah, looking like sure. she look now. And also, I'm fucking fucked up. Okay, well, let us carry on then. So first, we will go to Leandra's room with Michelle. Yeah. You make I your think yeah. I assume that uh, because this is car stabs, they have like their own wing with like a sitting room and their quarters mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. bollocks. Yeah, your room is, is four rooms at least um, off a bigger room. <laughs> yeah, so I put them in the sitting room. Sure. Yeah. Um, and then I go to my quarters with my girlfriend. Can Myla have uh, quickly, ver- as Godfrey was dismissed, mm-hmm. had a very quick word with him? Is Very quick word, yes. Okay. Um, yeah, who the fuck is Lord Carstaff? <laughs> Godfrey. Yes, hello. And you are. Uh, Myla, you. Hello. You Myla. care about Lord Alexi Carstaff very much, Both right? Both of them. <laughs> yes. Um, should. Should he be himself in the dining room? I'm not sure what you're asking. <sighs> uh, oh, oh, do you feel that it is currently um, apt? For Lord Castor, Lord Alexi Castor, to be Lord Alexi Castor, yes, and not Michelle, is that, that he's currently pretending right. to be. <laughs> yes, which is better, safer? We'll check around. <laughs> Nobody tells me anything, but I would suggest if. Uh, Lord Carstaff, not Lord Alexi Carstaff, but the other Carstaff, 
does not wish to be kept waiting in the dining room, I would suggest that you get the fuck out of here as quickly as possible. <laughs> okay. Best of luck. Thank you, Godfrey. Oh, and also, um, give this to the Lord. And we'll pull out a small silver flask. Or not silver, a small metal <gasps> flask. And uh, wipe it, we'll wipe it and polish it with a little towel. I <laughs> recognize this. As I had a duplicate made. Just, he has a tendency to misplace things. He, he, I cannot even begin to tell you what he did to the last one. <laughs> he, he did something to it. Well, he <laughs> don't have time. He got congealed. <laughs> he have time. Right, no, good luck. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It no, no, I, I mean, you, you, Godfrey what? climbs oh into a dumb I, I can't get this genie back in the box. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's uh, just, Godfrey slinks so, back into the shadows and you just hear this mumbling from a variety of shadows <laughs> until you hear this. All right, <laughs> canonically, the dumb turn into the Godfrey can appear anywhere, anytime. <laughs> as long as I uh, summon him. Okay, yes. Yeah. So long as you, so long as you summon him, uh, yeah. it will be a god. When we get to Leandra's room, yes. Um, I'm assuming would Myla have. I believe like everyone's us, come yeah. up at this That's point. Yeah, three we, we, Alexi yeah. is sort of hanging back a little bit, uncertain. I, I, I don't. I don't know where to go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Then when we're all sort of door closed, servants in the room dismissed. Uh, Alexi will look at three. Go, Went pretty well. This appearance. You're going to be Michelle. I have to be me. Swap? Swap. Okay. Um, as your sister, I take off all my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Dear and, Lord, look at that wall. Yeah, and I swan around in my someone else's nudity and put on a fancy outfit. Great. It's without any fucking holes in it. <laughs> Fair enough. These are very big rooms. Yeah. Um, would so, you like to share with the class, Myla? Oh, um, have this flask. Well, I remember it well. Where on earth did you get this? Godfrey. I love that man. He's an absolute gem, and I would like to spend a lot more time talking hey, to him. Hey, 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 hey. He seems like, hmm? This is lovely. Is there a priority message that he maybe gave us? <laughs> oh, uh, please get to the dining room as quick as you fucking can. Don't leave the Lord waiting. I thought the message oh, was... The message was get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. I'm just like, I guess I we're going was, to the dining room I thought it was eight. that. I thought it was meant like, get get a fucking move on rather than... No. Like, yeah, yeah. No. Great. Uh, where is your fucking zone where we have to be? On the east wing, we're going to go through um, my chambers to the archives. Then in the archives, there is a shrine to the Raven Queen. Assuming it hasn't been desecrated, I, I was close enough to exposing uh, the catacombs beneath right. the castle. How far away is that? It's a short wander. It's, it's, a, it's a short wander. We'll be seen... That oh, goes no without we saying. You, you did notice the, the guard presence was, was quite low, like, throughout. There wasn't a lot. I'm on there by, like, a servant. Sure, so, sure, like, sure, 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 sure. Uh, but if you look busy and pissed off enough. Yeah, okay. Um, do you not wish to meet your forebear? Well, yes. Oh. You wouldn't happen to have a scry, would you? Me? Yeah. What's a scry? Never mind. <laughs> My options of getting answers are veritably fucking slim all of a sudden. All right, well, okay, who's all most at time. risk? In, in terms of what being discovered? Being immediately murdered. I can't tell. I feel like Alexi's probably uh, quite If Alexi's going, and if anybody's figured this out by the whole sacrifice thing, if I'm going to be sacrificed, it'll be something important. I won't just be killed. Okay, uh, I think that you and I should go to dinner. The guests will also be invited. I, I think the other three, we will not deign to invite them. We will send them to your quarters. I will so convert... That's what you like, man. What? I can't do the accent, sorry. It's beautiful. It's right, just, just do it, it high-pitched and pleasant. <laughs> the way you talk about women is very concerning. Um, Michelle. <laughs> he, also, means he means dude. the Scottish accent. <laughs> Very much Fuck. the next It's all right. No one's getting cancelled. It's okay. I just wind you up. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, I have... So... Hand wave, mechanics. Uh, I have six sorcery points left. I can convert those to one... Um, dimension door. Which can take two people of the same size. That's not the panic button, then. That's that's my get out of jail free card that I have available. But it can only take two people, which means the others cannot come. They have to be somewhere else. Mm -hmm. I want to come anyway. I am very curious, but I do not feel like I have to come. I mean, unless you want to both polymorph into mice and hear the experiences of mice, but I don't know that's going to help either of you. That would not help me. My previous experience as a mouse was trying. Troubling. I would like to come as a guest, and I will transform if I need to leave. To, to speak plainly, ma'am, um, for I could stand back, watch, and if things do go tits up, I've got a bit more juice than you, I think. I could jump in in, in a pinch and just be one of the wait staff, or just, just be on standby. They don't know about my compromise. If we don't... If we don't go and meet whomever this Lord Carstav is, well, they're going to immediately know that something is wrong. We are not prepared for it all to go down, so to speak. I'm also not prepared to drink someone. That is a minor issue. That's mad laughing, sorry. Not we, laughing. we will make do. I can start, pass it over, and you can fake it. I think... We're not... Cleaning our plates anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Babied! <laughs> um, so, just just mechanically, we it looks like we've got two options. We've got go to the dinner, we meet, we're going meet to. Lord Karstav, yeah. or there is try and make your way to the catacombs through your room, through we're, the castle. Oh, we've got to meet Lord Karstav. Okay. It's got to be done. Okay, for plot reasons, we're getting murdered. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just want to sh- make sure there's a consensus by the group before we go in this direction, because it's... No, I think it's fucking stupid. But <laughs> for plot reasons, for plot reasons, I want to get fucking murdered. Let's okay. go. All right. I'm intrigued. Cool. Um, if it happens, you need to run. I run. Without me. If you get out, I will run. I'm dealing with this. I Thank will you. help. Thank you. Right, everyone, straighten up. Uh, if you have anything relatively clean or replacement to change into, I suggest you do. Uh, Milo literally looks down, gives a little dust. Just I like, pull out the least hoary goth of all the outfits in the cupboard and I give it to you. Oh, <laughs> I like to like fetches a little bell, um, hands it to you. Uh, demand something that suits her complexion. That's all you need to say. Fuck me. <laughs> I uh, do the whole charade. We yeah. go to dinner. Great. Uh, uh, what will we'll be, be serving seat. you tonight, Lord and Lady? What are we in the mood for? Rhino. Very good, very good. Asimar, if we have it. There's one in the dungeon. We could have brought up specially for you, sir, if you would like. I would. Oh, very good, very good, yes, good. That will be done. Actually, have you got anything... flying? I believe we might. Uh, something exotic or something a bit more... Uh, exotic, know, Exotic. Oh, uh, some Pegasus, perhaps. Love it. Bring that to me. Very good, very good. I will inform the Lord that we will be going all out tonight. Yum, yum. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Very good. And for yum, yourselves, yum, yum. do you partake in the... No, they I won't would be like... eating. I will not be eating. Very good. And for you, ma'am. Got a vegetable lying around? Maybe a carrot somewhere. Great. Put I will let up. them know. And they scurry <laughs> off. Very oh, good. Oh, before they leave, I say... um. What mood is Lord Carstav in tonight? He seems quite elated. Things seem to be going rather well. Don't they just? Mm. I give them look that's like, no, 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 we both understand what's happening, even mm. though I do not understand. <laughs> what <laughs> Preparations are underway. Yeah. And with that, so they close dead. it. <laughs> Let's go. The dress you'll be bought will probably be the one that's in Discord. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Let me describe what happens next. Murder. Um, for what it's worth, Milo's going to refuse a dress. She'll she'll go for a slightly jazzier top, maybe, but she, there's no fucking way she's wearing a skirt to this. <laughs> I don't, yeah, the toot will still be charred and... In like, a dress. And 
will be wearing the least hoary goth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Myla will basically take so, like if the dress has some sort of like nice sash thing, she'll just replace her old crappy sash, like blue sash, with a dark blue one with the nice patterns and swaps on things. Sure. Can it. I cast mending just to clean tune up a bit? You can do prestidigitation. You you look the part. Yeah. He's so, going to look particularly unhappy about being remotely. Oh, it's like no, no, no. This this is fine. There is a rap on the door, and a young human woman comes. Dinner is about to be served and lead you down. Music swells from the dining room and greets you as you enter a yeah. large, ostentatious, ostentatious room. Get uh, ready to touch your beard <laughs> and touch your nose if we have to leave. We agree ear, like an ear uh, Ear is leave. Countless <laughs> wines, beers, waters from all corners of the nation. As you sit, there is a, a bountiful pile of carrots waiting for you. Nothing for you as, as discussed. Just sit down and just go, yum yum. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a carrot? I do not know. Several wait staff wait on the other side, about eight. Who's in at the head of the table? No one Is at this it point. in a chair? Does it swing around like, uh, I'm glad you've been gathered <laughs> this evening. Just going like. If I'm like, he gets a swivelly chair, I would like a swivelly chair. Alexi will sit opposite <laughs> four, okay, next yeah. to Myla, and will like. Look Essentially, we are doing stand. this right now. Right? Yes. Oh, yeah. Make Very sure good. that he is staying standing. Very good. Yeah. So we your do meals. Not sit until the person no one is at the head of the table <laughs> yet. Two has sat down. The table is, <laughs> guys, the table is eighty feet long. Character brought for you. Nothing for you. A group of six bring a full Pegasus, tied down, still whinnying a little bit, and place it at your table. The table is lowered a little bit so you have easy access to the neck. Yeah. I just say, mm, I'm not ready yet, just leave it. I'll pick it up in a minute. Alexei. Hmm. A, what's it, it's a cloche, isn't it? A yes. cloche that you put something, yes it is. Mm. Yeah. About four and a half feet long is brought <laughs> it's a very in front small of you. Asthma. And a baby asthma! And the cloche is lifted and the face staring back is one you recognize. Uh oh. A single blonde streak of hair looks at you, but though the face looks familiar, it's a lot younger than you recognize as the face of Saskia stares back at you. Mouth, hands, everything bound, and you can see several marks on her neck. And then you hear clicking of boots, and suddenly there's a, a, a presence, a stiffness in the room as a male figure walks across the back, taking their time. There's a clack of boots as they come and sit at the head of the table. A fine red linen suit, a quiff of, of white ruffles sitting amongst it, long, fine sleeves, slicked hair, sitting there as their own cloche is sat, as another Saskia, older this time, is placed and you look across as they undo their collar just a little bit as you look into the eyes of Alexi Karstav. And that's where we're gonna end tonight's episode. Fucking called it. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I've been Matt Bateman. This is the lovely Reese Lawton, <laughs> Naomi Clark, Sasha Burgoyne, David Cox. Shocked We've had Cox. Nate Randall helping us with everything tonight. Woo! Uh, we're going to talk about this in the post show. I've been sitting on this for a long, long time, and I am so, so sorry. <laughs> There's a lot to unpack here. But anyway, it has been an amazing wee time. Thank you for watching, uh, and we'll see you soon. Or at the post show, we're going to break this down. See you soon. Bye, 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 bye. 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 <laughs>